Coming up today on Gillette World Sport. We're in Johannesburg as South Africa hosts New Zealand in the Tri-Nations. X marks the spot in Los Angeles at the 10th edition of Summer X. And there's a rough guide to power ski jet boards. The difference next as we hit the coast of San Diego, California and take a rough guide to the latest innovation on the water, the power ski jet boards. Mark Webster reports. If you're looking for a quiet day out at the beach, Southern California may no longer be the best bet. The brainchild of former pro surfer Bob Montgomery, jet boarding is what you end up with when you cross the style and techniques associated with surfing with the raw adrenaline and speed of a jet ski. The jet board's just like a jet fighter. You get out in the morning and sheet glass, no one out, and you just start laying out G-force turns. It's the ultimate experience. It's like a fiberglass rocket ship. You don't need the wave. Just go and go on the flat water and ride. No wave, no wake, no rope, that's it. What started out as little more than a childhood dream of combining a surfboard with an outboard motor has now evolved into a 40 horsepower jet propelled watercraft capable of reaching speeds of up to 40 miles an hour. The original uh, craft had a 15 horsepower OMC motor. The jet on it was not the type of jet, but there was no blueprints for this product. So, you know, Bob, with his vision, continued to push the envelope. There is a lot of uh, people that have attempted to build motorized surfboards. As I went into the patents, I couldn't believe all the wild, crazy things that were invented here all over the world. This is like the Jetsons. This is a fantasy toy. Voted one of the inventions of the year by Time magazine back in 2001, early models even featured in Kevin Costner's Hollywood blockbuster Waterworld. Since the early prototypes, though, Montgomery and his team at Powerski International have propelled the jet board into the realm of mainstream water sports. In order to power a surfboard at 40 miles an hour, we had to make a power plant that is really, really flat. But we've also turned the cylinder 90 degrees so that the exhaust and the intake come in along the same direction as the crankshaft, giving us a real flat package. The board is made uh, from a, a fiberglass composite. It's actually hollow inside and uh, the engine is about uh, six and a half inches in height, 10 inches wide, and about 17 inches in length. And there's no engine like it on the face of the earth. With more than 100 patents on the engine alone, the units are defined by the cutting edge technology involved. But what the jet board is really all about is riding, and riding at speed. You've got a uh, handle that has a Santa Prime grip to it, ergonomically designed, and then you got a start button, which is a green button, and then you got a, a red button, which is your kill button. The main uh, important feature of that handle is the throttle. It's either your best friend or worst enemy. You lean on one side to set the rail, and when you're starting to lean in, you give it more gas, and the farther you lean, the tighter you turn. You can ride it at about 20 to 25 into a corner, and then when you hit full throttle, you're coming out at 35. So you really feel that G-force and the pull. It's a graceful maneuvering, almost like a dance. And once you get your rhythm and your form right, it just, it just sets off. The board is so simple to ride that more than 1,000 people have tested the unit with a 100% record of success. And while it's currently considered a purely recreational watercraft, there is plenty of potential for the jet board to develop into a full-blown competition sport as Powerski enters the mass production stage. If you can stand and hit a baseball, you can ride this product. If you can go back and throw a football, you can ride this product. If you can stand martial arts, you can ride this product. If you can stand, you can ride this product. You're going to see fun days start up where there's clubs, and then you're going to have races naturally take place. Good slalom course races, freestyle. You're going to see, I think, uh, wave uh, riding contest. Uh, it's going to be a great, great sport, and um, it's growing very, very fast. It's just a matter of getting the production up. Safe in the knowledge that sales of jet skis are steadily declining in North America, Montgomery and the team are set to enter their product into a primed market. Indeed, although Power Ski have only launched 100 units to date, they have already reached 59 countries worldwide. Well, how popular is this thing going to be? It's really hard to tell. It's a whole brand new water sport, and we expect there to be one of these babies on every lake and river all over the world. The suggested manufactured cost is a mere 6,000, just add water and away you go. After the break, the Springboks host the All Blacks in Tri-Nation Rugby. 
And the cream of extreme are in L.A. for Summer X. 